Hi everybody, Mike Amato here. You know, I thought today we'd talk a little bit about the client journey. So when I, when I work with a client, um, what does a program look like from an overview? And, and, and what's the journey that the client takes? And, um, and, and a lot of times I think about it and I think, well, it's very, very uh, personalized for each person. It's gonna look a little different. But in reality, there are basic themes that are followed. And there are definitely some outcomes that clients achieve that are based sometimes not exactly on what they've described that they want. For example, somebody has just told me recently they want to get a promotion. They think they should be two levels higher. So they want to really go after and go get that. Somebody else said they might be in the wrong place and they want to kind of want to look at a different part of the company and kind of make a lateral move or even a move down, but they're really looking for something that's much more fulfilling. Maybe another idea would be somebody who wants to leave and start their own business. The point of it is, is that they're at a place now. And, and so what does success look like? And it would be easy to identify that success as being the thing that they seek. But in reality, success can be much more um, um, uh, less specific to the outcome and much more specific to almost everybody who undertakes a personal journey because that's what this is. And so I thought I'd map out the journey so you could see the, 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 the beginning point and, and the steps that we take. And there's some very interesting um, uh, philosophical components in this that I won't have time today to go into them, but over the course of time, we can go into each and every one of them in much more detail because essentially they are the program. So let me, let me describe kind of what we're doing here. When I talk about a journey, it, I mean it's a journey. So we start at a place where we are today, we're at a current spot, and want to go to some place in the future. And, and that's typically the first question I ask somebody is, why are you here? Well, I want this. Okay, great. So I always start with the future first because that's your motivation. I desire this thing. I desire this outcome. I desire this, this different thing that I have today, whatever that thing might be. So we start with that. We talk about that motivation. And there's some techniques that we use to really kind of put some feeling behind it. Because in reality, we want the feeling that that of that destination, what it what it brings us. It's not the destination in the, in and of itself. But we're trained to say we want to be the the destination. So so we're going to talk about that. But that's your motivation. That's the thing that begins to 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 create the ability to move. And when I say motivation, it means to motivate, it means to move your feet. So we're going to go from the current state to the future state and and talk about what that means to you in terms of motivation. Now, when I come back, I want to talk about. What are the steps we take to understand the current state? Because now we have to go back once we know where we're going. And we're going to come back and I want to talk about these steps that you would take then to understand your current state and then begin building a plan for uh, attaining the destination that you're looking for. All right. Thanks very much for joining in, everybody.